Buckingham Palace may have been a backdrop for the Olympic road race and marathon, but it's also the setting for the opening mission of Zombie U. Possibly the most hardcore of the Wii U launch games. And now time for the judges' scores. What will they make of it? We asked someone with nothing better to do to give us a demo. Right, so here we are we're playing single player campaign um, on the new Zombie U game on the uh, Nintendo Wii U. Using a black control pad. Now, every time you open a chest or you go to loot, your attention is drawn to the Wii U control pad. That actually draws your attention away from the main screen. Um, that's pretty key because, for example, if you're in this situation in real life, you're not going to be able to look at um, all your surroundings. You're going to be rummaging through your uh, backpack. So while this is all going on, I could easily have a zombie coming towards me in the main game. Better get out the crossbow then. As well as that, when using the uh, crossbow, the Wii U control pad, it can act as a scope so that you can take zombies out in one hit. In the background, you can see Buck House. And here comes Prince Harry, probably lost again after another big night out. Take that for pitching Pippa's bum. Brilliant. One um, major feature of the new Zombie U game is the scanner. You do that by holding L on the Wii U control pad. Now, what that does is it allows you to scan in a full 360 view of all your surroundings. So here we've found a chest, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to analyze the chest, and it's going to tell me exactly what's inside the chest without me having to open it. Um, as well as that, you can scan sort of dead zombie bodies and find sort of hidden things within the rubble that you wouldn't normally be able to see with the naked eye. Um, and what it does, when I go back to my main screen, it's actually going to highlight it for me so I can just run straight over there and pick it up. Now, where did Bradley Wiggins hide his gold medal? just before the apocalypse kicked off. So, take four. Time to meet some of Great Britain's finest officers. Oops, things have gone a bit jerky. Let's jump on to later in the level. We're still on the main mission, as it says in the top corner. However, uh, it was the first objective, which was to actually get into the uh, nursery. Now that we've found our way in, the idea is to look at the objective, which is to find the antibiotics. So you've kind of sort of got to keep your wits about you and um, make your way through as far as you can, killing all the sort of zombies that come in your way. And there was me thinking I had to make friends with them. OK. Our mission now is to find some antibiotics. Where are you? So every time you actually kill a zombie, the idea is just to loot him. Um, some zombies have a little bit of ammo on them, as you do. Um, now this feature here is the uh, lockpick. So you just got to sort of figure out the code just a little bit to the right. There we go. Now the map in Zombie U is, um, it's all hidden. You only discover a new bit on the map when you actually walk there. We've switched now from pistol to the trusty cricket bat. How's that? Oh, a superb stroke there. But will bad light stop play? Oh, some brilliant batting bringing this game to life. So here, the little dots that uh, appear on the scanner, little bits of ammo that you might not normally be able to be able to see. Hmm, impressive. Backlight, only responsive to colour. So as you saw there, what happened was um, I was sort of scanning around the room and didn't actually notice that a zombie had come towards me. Um, as I said before, that's sort of a clever part of this game where it's takes your focus away from the main game. OK, Jim, it's time for your appraisal now. Go into Miss Psycho's office, please. Um, this part here is basically sort of a semi-boss. Um, Go on. So she's going to keep sort of respawning, and the idea is just keep killing her each time um, so that you can move on to the next area. So as you can see, she sort of came straight back to me. 
Um, and because you saw, you're pretty much in complete darkness, you do have to keep your wits about you with this part of the mission. 